Hey everybody, Tom here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Indian Summer. Um, kind of the newest tetris -y type game from Uwe, Uwe Rosenberg. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop open the lid. We've got our rule book here. Uh, pretty good rule book. Um, lots and lots of pictures and examples and things like that. Um, it's been slightly criticized for being a little bit wordy, and I would probably agree with that, but it gets the job done. I like it. All right, now I have obviously organized this in my own special way. Uh, and so let's take out a couple of things. So we have uh, kind of two main player boards. One side is for solo play and the other side is for uh, multiplayer. So let's just put out the multiplayer side like that. And it uh, really doesn't matter which order things go in. I'll probably put uh, in that order like that. So you can kind of see why I've pulled the camera back quite a ways is because uh, this uh, tends to take up a bunch of space. We're going to be surrounding that there. Um, and then we're going to take our player boards. There are several different kinds of player boards and we just need to pick them randomly. Uh, we can, you know, kind of shuffle them around or whatnot. And then we'll pick one for the red player, one for the blue player, something like that. And then all the rest go back in the board. Unlike Cottage Garden, Cottage Garden, you keep all of them out, but one player per, or one board per player here. Now in this bag, I have these brown animal tiles. And so we're gonna just go ahead and pop those open. And you're gonna see that the shapes of these animal tiles match the uh, shapes kind of silhouetted there on the board. Um, I'm kind of trying to talk over my dog slurping of his water right now so you don't have to hear it because it is a noise that drives me crazy. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and put this on here. And I, I have been trying to figure out a better way to store things to make this process a little faster, but I haven't found one. If you have one, just let me know in the comments section and I'd love to know uh, the ideas that you guys come up with. Okay, so we're just continuing to fill up this board with all of these shapes like that and almost ready go ahead and put that like that and a couple more over here all right there we go uh, so on this board you're going to see that there's one of each of these shapes over here and then there are several of these small l's and small sticks and then and then a couple of those kinds of shapes too all right, uh, what am I doing next? Okay, uh, next up, let's pull out the treasures. So the treasures, I got this Plano box and ignore this blue one, it's driving my OCD crazy. Uh, but I have these four different kinds of treasures in here. We've got berries, acorns, mushrooms, and feathers. And each player is gonna each start off with one berry. Now these tokens are kind of cool. On one side it looks realistic, the other side is kind of cartoony, but very visible, uh, especially because we're recording. I would probably prefer to play with the realistic side, but uh, I think the colory side is going to be more readable, legible, something. And so each player is going to start with one berry, one acorn, and one mushroom. And then onto this board right here, uh, you're going to put... Um, a berry goes onto the raccoon's tile here, and on the board it kind of reminds you of that. And then an acorn goes onto the fox, and then what is that? That's a what is that? A wombat or I <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, uh, and a feather goes onto that thing there. All right, and then we're just gonna keep these nearby i'll just keep them in the center how about that and because of the way cameras are shaped let's turn these landscape style instead of portrait style all right so those are going to be out and about also in the box we have got a couple more things uh, struggling okay there's a backpack tile and the backpack tile each player is going to get one of those they kind of mark uh, the path order essentially and on the back side is um, a reminder about what each of the treasures do and so just for purposes of this video each player is going to get a backpack tile and then I'm just going to keep one of these treasure reminder tiles nearby probably put it like that how about that oh that looks good okay and then also we have two parts of the berry bush and we just piece those together like that 
and they are going to go, I'm going to start this in the back, um, just so it doesn't obstruct the view of the pieces there. And then the first player token is a pair of boots. We're going to give that over here to what will be the blue player. So we're done with the contents of that bag. All right, next up, we've got to set up each player. Um, we'll keep the treasures like that. Backpack should go start in the lower left like that. And now I have just taken, you will see all of these uh, leaf tiles. I've put them in an oversized um, Ziploc bag. And uh, there's green, red, and yellow. And so each player needs to start off with two greens, two yellows, and one red. And the different colors signify kind of the different number of squares. All of the greens will take up three squares on the player board. So I'm just going to kind of reach in here and whatever the first two green ones, two yellows, and a red. I'm honestly not looking for anything other than the color reaching in and grabbing it. So those, we got two yellows and a red. And then I just try to mix this up as best as I can. And I'm sure that sounds great on camera. And I'm just going to grab a handful. And what we need to do is we need to make a path from the bush around that board there. So I'm just going to kind of grab these and lay them out as best as I can, uh, <clears throat> like that. And you want to make sure that they kind of have an order. So you do want to be, you know, casual enough, but not so casual uh, that things get jumped. Looks like I'm missing some greens. I'll try to pull from a different part of the bag. Oh, lots of reds. I really am trying to grab some greens. In fact, I'm going to halfway cheat. Make sure that there are some greens along the path as we go. So let's throw a green here, a green here, a green here. I'm sure that other people have better ways to shuffle these up. This is just the best that I'm able to do right now. And again, try not to cut because I like to keep my setup videos very realistic for what happens when you crack open the box and you want to play. And then we'll add one more tile. Let's make it a green one. Goes right there. Okay, and they say leave like about a hand's space away so that you know that the the bush marks the beginning of the path that you're going to mark move this way along the path and then what you're supposed to do is just keep all of the rest of the tiles thrown on the floor no uh all right we're going to keep the rest of these tiles nearby because a time will come in the game when we need to refill this path and so we'll just keep these nearby uh, i'll keep them right over there all right and that is just about it um, one more thing that I'm going to be doing is, uh, because this is a Tom Teaches video, we've got to have <laughs> player colors so that we can kind of keep um, different strategies straight. You can know as we're cutting and moving the camera back and forth who is who. And so let's just go ahead and throw these in. Why don't we... Yeah. This is good. Oh, blue player on the left. And what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and keep the blue on top. Sure, we'll keep it on the top. How, well, yeah, it, it really doesn't matter. And we'll keep their treasures closer to the center. So for them, it's going to be on the right-hand side. And then for the red player, crawl over here. And we're going to keep the red on top just so we can tell the difference between our players. And I hope that that will keep us better oriented uh, throughout the video. Flip that one over. Cool. All right. We are ready to play. Um, I'll go ahead and put the link for the gameplay video in the description of this video at the bottom. Uh, so if you'd like to just click on that, that would be awesome. We're going to go ahead and get started. I like this game, but also I'm a Tetris junkie. So I like all of these games. All right, cool. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.